you have to practice a lot. Yeah. But who doesn't want to play, right? <laughs> Go outside and play with their peers. Yeah. So I hate that into death. Like, oh my god, when can this instrument break? You know, I, so I can toss it and go out and play. That's like, literally what I thought. Let me introduce Fei Fei. She is a uh, virtuoso erhu player, award-winning vocalist. What do you consider to be your main instrument? Main instrument should be erhu. Erhu. I played erhu mm -hmm. since I was nine, from third grade in primary school. Mm. I love singing, and that's how the teacher discovered me in primary school. I joined the singing club and dancing club, and finally, and the Chinese orchestra yeah. for the kids, they are recruiting, they wanted more kids. So the teacher dragged me there, I'll sit there and watch. But did you actually then fall in love with it or you kind of just went with it for the capabilities of the instrument? And uh, <laughs> The official way is yes, I, I'm in love with my instrument. No, be <laughs> no, <laughs> I really don't like it because oh, as a kid you have to practice a lot. Yeah. But who doesn't want to play? Right? Yeah. Go outside and play with their peers. Yeah. So I hate that into death. Like, oh my god, when can this instrument break? You know, I, so I can <laughs> toss it and go out and play. That's like, literally what I thought. Yeah. But my teacher put me in a private uh, office all the time, only for myself to mm -hmm. play and mm -hmm. practice. I'm sitting there with the arm by myself, a little kid. Yeah. <laughs> so I hate it. It I was like torture. It. Yeah, and then after I got to school, conservatory, and then I got a professionally trained, um, I think art will can be developed in so many different ways, especially when you play different songs and different genres. Mm -hmm. So I think now it's part of my life, so I can't really give up. There's no yeah. way. I see myself give give up Arhu in this life. Right. So it's it's different. It's different. It's just like we get married, you hate this person but you have to stay forever. So that kind your of partner is kind of love. Yeah. <laughs> Jazz, and I asked that because I just saw one of your shows at the Cutting Room, and uh, you were doing Shanghai, and then um, Shanghai Pop, um, and then get, that got me interested in your band. And I went onto your website. It said Jazz. I think it was a Jazz Trio that you have. Yeah. How did you get from Chinese traditional Urhu music into jazz? How did that come about? For me, I think it's my mission in this life just to serve my audience, whoever loves music love music is my mission so how to approach them is you have to speak their language and use their language and make them understand so if i play this instrument nobody knows then i have to find a way to let them know how to let them know they know jazz they know pop so if i use this rare instrument play pop play jazz and they know oh i know the song but i don't know the instrument oh the instrument sounds like this in this song oh then eventually you're going to drag them in also, jazz is always my one of my passion. I think bring Arhu, bring the exotic instrument, especially in America and New York, it's a good idea to, um, you know, just to fuse whatever I I can offer, my voice, my culture, my song, and fuse my instrument fused to American uh, style. So. That's how I end up with doing different things. Yeah. 
one line only. Yes, you want to keep it in one straight line. Beautiful. Outer string. Not bad. <laughs> She's a natural. 